Well, hello there, old man Banjo, you might be thinking. You're not one of those YouTubers that normally starts YouTube videos staring into a webcam ominously holding a shotgun microphone in your hand, which, by the way, for any of you that are aspiring audio engineers, never hold a shotgun microphone in your hand. It doesn't make any sense. But anyways, for this video, I do need to start the video that way because what I'm going to discuss is just so whimsical that I, I, think, I think it will come across poorly if you don't get the vibe on my face as I'm making this video. So recently, if you follow my channel, you'll know that I did a video on the history of Kickstarter MMORPGs. And to be honest with you, I didn't really enjoy making that video all that much. I felt like it was a bit of a mistake and I was rehashing a lot of territory that a lot of much bigger and better YouTubers than me have covered. And I just didn't feel like I was adding value to my audience, which is what I always try to do with my videos, even if it's to provoke, you know, debate and, and, and discussion. But while I was researching that video, I came across an MMORPG or Kickstarter MMORPG that I'd completely forgotten about, an MMORPG called City of Titans. And while I was doing my research, I was going through, you know, YouTube videos and histories and uh, Kickstarter pages and the Wayback Machine and all that. And then I saw that for this game, that actually released something new. Now, for background, this was Kickstarted in 2013. So to see a brand new video come out only a few months ago for it was really something. And so I clicked it. And I kind of had to hold back, held, hold back on my commentary for it from the last video because I wanted to save it for this one, so that we could, <laughs> we could just. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut now from this and, and and go to editing, editing old man banjo. But trust me. Ah, thank you, life man banjo. Uh, you should really wash your hair after you come in from a rainstorm, you know. Anyways, let's examine. City of Titans. So City of Titans is the quote-unquote spiritual successor to City of Heroes, an MMORPG that closed down well over a decade ago that had a very cult fan base. The, the, real, the real selling point for City of Heroes was its ability for you to design a custom superhero and then just play was reasonably a bare-bones MMORPG where the real focus was on character customization. My girlfriend can mess around with the character customizer in Heroes, uh, City of Heroes for ages and not care about the game at all. The character customization is that much fun. It's that in-depth. And that was really the game's selling point. The idea of being able to create your own customized superhero. And so in 2013, City of Titans was pitched as uh, the successor. It was one of the most successful Kickstarters of that era, raising around 700,000 US dollars, being backed by over 5,000 people. And if you do those numbers, you realize the people that were donating were donating quite a lot. So here we are 11 years later, and the game still isn't out. And when I was researching it for my last video on the history of Kickstarter MMORPGs, I thought, oh, this is going to be very boring because there's going to be no new news for this. It's going to be just another Kickstarter that managed to vanish into the dark without too much controversy. But then I found the trailer for it that I'm just now going to show to you in full, and then we can talk about what we've seen.
So this video, if you look at the comment section of it, really touches upon something I've complained about before, which is just boomers having absolutely no idea what the Unreal Engine 5 is and being super impressed by this. If you look at the comments of the video, there are a lot of people that are super impressed by this and think that this is the game showing that it's finally a success. Now, anyone who knows anything about anything can see that for what it is. And if you're thinking what I'm thinking and we both want to know we're on the same page, well, pause for a second. That's a bunch of uh, Unreal Store assets all crammed together and vaguely sized down to fit the same palette and game size, right? Uh, bits of the footage even include the default Unreal Engine model in various bits of it. And yet, if you look at the comments, there's a lot of boomers that think that they're finally getting their game after over a decade. And it really does highlight the amazing ability of the Unreal 5 engine to just literally chuck together something. If you gave me like, you know, several thousand dollars and, um, you know, a week with the, with the Unreal Engine, I could chuck that together. And I am bad at making games. It's nothing, it's not a, not a brag at all. It's the opposite of a brag. It's, it's really that bad. And, uh, it's just one of those things when you're browsing, browsing the YouTubes, making your video and you're just like, I, I can't believe this is real, but it is real. And I guess the summation of the story here is that, um, uh, there are a lot of people that are really, really vulnerable to scams. And I know a lot of other YouTubers have talked about it, but it is something that needs to constantly be highlighted. The Unreal 5 engine is really, really uh, making people sort of available to being scammed in terms of these these types of games that are being released. And it can give games a, a, a veneer of credibility that they don't deserve to have. We saw this with uh, the day before, and we'll see it a lot more. With the, with the rise of AI, if we combined the rise of AI gaming, AI voiceover, AI music, AI models, and then we combined all this with the Unreal Engine 5, we're about to see the age of scam gaming in a way that has never been shown before. And sure, there are people that are more savvy about it. But if you if you look at the comments on that video, you can see that the boomers are still in full swing. They have big wallets and they are really willing to get scammed. And that was the frightening thing for me. I was amused by the video because the video is, is so horrifically bad. But on the other hand, what really shocked me was that there are people that are um, really out there just to just to open their wallets and get uh, get taken for all their money. So like I said in the title of this video, I think this is probably the worst of all the Kickstarter and the more RPGs that were from that era in the early 2010s. And it's still going and people are still falling, falling for it. And it's it's really incredible. I hope you enjoyed that clip because I, I it wasn't, you know, trending or anything. So I just want to show it off to my audience and uh, reflect on the fact that it's real. Sometimes that's just the uh, the most entertaining thing about it all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.